Hey guys, I'm Brandon, one of your hosts with Revzilla. I'm hanging out in my garage, about to grab the R6. I wanna do a quick on-bike review of the old Showy RF1200. This has quickly become one of my go-to options and I wanted to better explain exactly why and give you my experience with this particular helmet for the past four years. So let's hop on the bike and check it out. So the RF1200, this helmet is an excellent do-it-all type of helmet. Whether you're on a street glide, whether you're touring, commuting, it does all of those really well because it's not overly aggressive. It's definitely a bit more on the sporty side, I would say. Um, but I've used it on a street glide going up the coast of California. It performed uh, incredibly well there too. So very versatile helmet. So I certainly wanted to say that. The other reason I really like this helmet and why it's been my go-to option is just how quiet and lightweight it is. Three pounds, five ounces in a size large, not bad at all but it is really, really quiet. Now noise, I will say, is, is very subjective. It's gonna change you know, one rider to the next depending on uh, your rate of speed, uh, the windscreen, how tall you are, even the materials that you're actually wearing can have an effect on your perceived wind noise. But with all the helmets that I've tested and compared and contrasted this with, it is definitely on the quiet scale for sure. Now they updated the liner from the previous generation. I think that's part of the reason why. It's very comfortable, nice and plush, obviously removable, and you can wash it and all that stuff, keep everything nice and fresh. But um, it did help uh, make it a bit more enclosed, if you will. So that's gonna help keep out some of that wind noise. And the shell design, it's super low profile. It doesn't have like a really big shell. Um, some helmets out there definitely do, <laughs> that's for sure. And I think the RF1200 is, is one of those helmets that does a good job of, of staying low profile. It's still gonna get that Snell certification, so you're still getting excellent protection even though the shell is more low profile. It's just a better design all around. And I've been using this helmet for four and a half years now at least. Um, about time to get a new one, uh, to be totally honest with you. Um, and I've used it quite a bit at the track. I use it on my daily commutes all the time. Um, it, it's easily my go-to option for that. And I think that's part of the reason why it's become such a staple among riders is because it is so lightweight. It's quiet. The price is, is right on the money for what you're getting. Um, Pinlock ready face shield, Pinlock insert included in the box. It's a great bang for the buck option. Now, this isn't a detailed product review or breakdown. I just want to give you a little bit of feedback, my experience. I'm sure a lot of riders out there have had similar experiences. You can head over to revzilla.com and get some other rider feedback. That's always nice to do if you're looking at some new stuff. Um, and we also have a detailed product breakdown of this helmet um, on the website there. So if that's something you want to, to find, uh, it does exist. And I have a sneaky suspicion that we are going to see the RF1300 one of these days. I think that one is, is about due uh, since this helmet's been out since about the amount of time I've worked at Revzilla. I've been working there for six and a half years now, so maybe not, it hasn't been out quite that long, but close to it, if not. But yeah, if you're looking for more details, head over to revzilla.com, check out the product page. It'll have a lot more info. But as for me, I've got some curvier roads ahead of me, so I'm gonna focus on the road and uh, enjoy this beautiful weather here in Philadelphia. Hopefully you guys are getting in some ride time and staying safe out there. Uh, I'm Brandon, and as always, keep it pinned, but you keep it pinned with this hand, but I'm riding right now, so I got to use that throttle hand, but uh, stay safe out there, guys. Have a good one.